Hey there, Psych2Goers. Have you ever met a narcissist? What if you have, and you just don't know it? After all, narcissists are masters of deception and emotional manipulation. While only 1% of the global population is actually diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder, it's a lot more common for people to display narcissistic traits and tendencies. Are you worried one of your friends might be a narcissist? Here are seven warning signs you need to look out for. One, they have a grandiose sense of self-importance. Does your friend talk about how great or special they are all the time? Do they go on and on about their status, their success, their beauty, or their popularity, and about how lucky you should feel to be friends with them? Arrogant, vain, and self-obsessed, narcissists are known for having an unrealistically high opinion of themselves, and they'll often exaggerate or even outright lie about their own accomplishments just to make themselves look better. Two, they have a distorted worldview. Has your friend ever done something poorly and said, it's because I haven't been practicing, but if I did, I just know I'd be so much better than all of you. Narcissists often rely on self-deception, excessive defensiveness, and making excuses for themselves to keep their distorted view of the world intact. They're in denial of their own flaws and weaknesses and act out against anyone who questions their superiority. Three, they need constant praise and admiration. Narcissists always want to be the center of attention. And when they're not, you can always trust them to steal back the spotlight somehow. They're not interested in anything that doesn't have to do with them. They want you to constantly shower them with adoring compliments to keep their ego inflated. And this is why so many narcissists gravitate towards generous, kind-hearted people. They have a way of using your own good nature against you. Four, they have a strong sense of entitlement. Does your friend cut the line, doesn't wait for their turn, or takes things without asking? That's definitely a red flag. They believe that they're better than everyone else and that they deserve to get whatever they want because of it. They're selfish, spoiled, and incredibly demanding. They expect the people around them to just do what they say and meet their every need or else they'll lash out and throw a tantrum. Five, they have a superiority complex. Is your friend obsessed with status and nothing short of the absolute best will ever be good enough for them? Because they believe that they're extraordinary and one of a kind, they only want to associate with other high status people and institutions. They judge people according to their wealth, status, attractiveness, and popularity, and surround themselves only with those they see as their equals. Six, they lack empathy and remorse. Do you have a friend who doesn't care about your opinions or your feelings? Because narcissists think about themselves and only themselves, they lack the ability to feel empathy for others or remorse about their own wrongdoings. They believe everyone around them is there only to serve them and fulfill their needs. So they have no problem exploiting people for their own personal gain. They never apologize, they never feel guilty, and they never stop to consider the consequences of their actions. And seven, they bully, belittle, or mistreat others. Does your friend always have a backhanded compliment ready for you every time you share your good news with them? Do they have a habit of criticizing you and pointing out all your flaws the moment someone else pays you a compliment? That's because narcissists don't like to share the spotlight. They feel threatened by the success, confidence, and popularity of other people. They undermine your accomplishments, belittle your success, and intimidate you into feeling inferior to keep you in line. Did anyone in particular come to mind? What was your experience with them like? Let us know in the comments below. If you have a narcissist in your life, it's important that you see them for who they really are. Don't sacrifice your mental health by putting up with them and their maltreatment. Also, if you found this video helpful, remember to like and share this video with those you think might benefit from it. Subscribe to Psych2Go for more content, and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.